What's up, y'all? This your boy, Movie Man Greg, coming at you guys with episode two of season one of The Sopranos. So far, I'm enjoying it, but I'm ready to get into the next episode. Uh, but just make sure if you like to see these videos uncut, um, unedited, like you want to see me react to it in full, no blurring or switching of the cameras or anything, consider becoming a Patreon member. Um, it's at patreon.com forward slash two epic. That's the number two and then epic. Um, where you'll get other benefits as a shout out. You'll be able to see them, my, your names at the bottom um, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, but with that being said, um, I'm really, really enjoying the show so far, but I'm ready to get to the next episode. So let's go ahead and get this cracker. All righty. Well, it's not like it was. Cloning. Mexicans are huge in that. Fascinating, gotta admit it. Because they work as parking valets. All right. Cell phones. I'm not talking about cloning cell phones. Jesus, I'm talking about fucking sheep. <laughs> Keep the royal family had uh, a whack. <laughs> this time I might take a fucking little of Paris. Like you were ever in Paris, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> The bomb bomb section. Pornography or whatever. Someone's always going to surface to serve these needs. Always. This is what I thought I was out. They pulled me back in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looks like some bullshit, and it is some bullshit. <laughs> Nobody wants to hurt your ass. Okay, but you gotta time me up. You gonna be a jerk off now? My boss is gonna think I'm in on it. What do we look like? We're trying for a merit badge. We travel around. <laughs> 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 Broken nose. Thank you, man. I said no. No way. He like nah. Ooh. <laughs> we are in agreement. That is the proper amount of scathing at this point. And these poor teachers, they don't make a lot. So we can work a summer vacation. Yeah. Huh. Maybe you could help find it. Funny. What the hell? I thought I told you I changed my name from Lojack to Anthony Soprano. Laugh, I <laughs> thought I'd pee my pants. Seriously, though, pussy's got the body shop. You couldn't ask around? I'm late. Man, I don't know this science teacher. Put up some of the red and back as and listen to the men in black, you know? All right, fuck it. Hey, no, no, it's a goddamn riot. That's all. I'll be glad to hook it up, Tom. You know, I used to be an installer. <laughs> Look who calls. How you doing? I was wondering when you were going to call. Well, you can stop wondering now. This <laughs> Some operator answered the phone. I couldn't understand a word she was saying. Well, how many times I got to tell you that? That's not an operator. That's an answering machine. Oh. oh man, this is at the prime of all this shit. Now you and my mother, you're like two peas in a pod. She can't master the phone either, but she's 70 years old. What's your fucking excuse? <laughs> oh my god. Ma. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, you don't put water on that. What are you doing? Oh! Oh! oh. The, the mushrooms! They're on fire! Alright, I'll get the fire extinguisher under the sink. The one I gave you, get it! Oh my god! Oh. The wall! Oh, Look at how I live! Oh my god. Her ass do need to be in a nursing home. She can't even do this simple shit. Hey, T. Just teach her. They stole this car. You got a plate number? It's so much. He got so much going on. I can imagine. I I understand why my man's just passing out every three hours. He got his mama to deal with. He got the buffoon at the bar to deal with. He got all these scams that he's trying to run. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, her ass definitely needs to be in a nursing home at this point. I have my ways. A bag that's different. Leave this place. That my husband and I shared. Yep. Change can be a positive. 
It's about that time. He was a saint. You're going to fuck around and die by the end of the week if your ass is there by yourself. No, he's on medication. Oh, you was not supposed to be... No, you wasn't supposed to tell her. She going to fuck around and tell... His uncle. Ah, shit. Is it Uncle Junior? For six months. How was I last here? Mm, mm, mm. Shop. I guess the guy works there. What Chung Avenue and what? I'm fucking Rockford over here. <laughs> and she sees he dropped his money clip. But he was already gone. And we'd like to get it back to him. She said he Ooh. was wearing a uniform like... Fucking Italian people. How do we miss out on this? What? Fucking espresso, cappuccino. An Italian coffee shop. Well, the real reason is I know I can't let her live with us. That doesn't seem very practical given her personality. Not only that. What's my wife? She won't allow it. Where are your sisters and What? Brothers? You're supposed to take care of your mother. She's a little old lady. Not to you. She's very powerful. Bullshit. <laughs> she got you wrapped around her finger. Some of the uh, good experiences you remember as a child. The loving, warm ones. Ooh, there's not too many of those, I bet. Yep, think back. Rack that brain, bro. We're going to be here all night. <laughs> I'm the ungrateful fuck. Because I come here and I complain about her and I let my wife exclude her from my home. So, so two things. Either he's lying or the wife is lying to her face because she clearly invited her. So I'm confused about this. Is she, is she saying that to, the, to her mom's, her, <coughs> her mother-in-law's face? And then getting back to Tony, like, hell no, she can't stay with us. That's, that's interesting. <clears throat> or is Tony making assumptions? I don't know. Okay. In the hours you're here taking care of my mother, no ganja. No ganja. Oh, okay. Wow. Damn, he just stereotyped like a motherfucker. But the bottom of that face isn't wet. Mr. Tony, would you like some tea or something? Coke. Thanks. Yeah, like, I don't like your ass already sitting there gonna tell me don't smoke no ganja. Motherfucker, I don't even smoke ganja. It's gone. Wow. I don't know, Mom. She seems like a nice person. She doesn't fool me for a second. Oh, my God. The prejudices. Keep forcing your possessions on people, thinking you're gonna die. Yeah. I wish it was tomorrow. Oh man. No, no, I'm not caving into you this time. She stays. Hmm. Well, we know where he get his shit from. Get it from his mama. Mm. Christopher Moltisanti is a fucking loose cannon. And that felony kid, if ever. You get a man out of a sick bed? Hey, fuck that shit. And <laughs> a fucking chemo. Maybe I should name a successor. Yeah, because he's like, he don't want this shit. What's the fucking job? Right. The stress that comes along with all this shit. I got a feeling like they're about to be at odds. Like, they're going to be trying to kill each other. Own mother. Wow. Wow, man, all these motherfuckers is bigots. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding you. Come on, you're a good sport. Come on. All right. You alright? Yeah, I'm alright. You alright? You alright? You alright? Yeah, yeah fuck your shit up. I'm Tony Soprano. You better get that shit right. And he's stewing in that shit. He pissed. Paul, are you listening to me? Yeah. Oh, again with the rape of the culture. Can we go find these Spice Girls already and get this over with? <laughs> Ooh. That's it! Lying Did you ass. say something to her? Look, I know how to talk to people. These blacks. 
Uh, Who knows where they're gonna take the wrong way? Why don't you pay the man his restitution? Yeah. Restitution, okay, but you know how much you want, your uncle? Fifteen dollars. Hey, you got the wrong truck, that's what happened. Oh, so they fucked up. That's why they, they ended up hitting the wrong truck. I always feel undermined. By what I did on the Triborough Tower situation alone, I should have been made right then, boom. Hmm. He trying to... So he trying, he trying to move up in the ranks. He's pissed because he's at his position. You know, and that's why he's been trying to make moves on his own. And it seems like he's clearly fucking up every time he's trying to do that. So for what for I remember, what's his name? Uh, Big Pussy? You know, he was like, yo, what are you doing making these hits without someone? You were supposed to have called me. I was supposed to do this with, with, with you. You know, but he was like, well, I, this is the last time I ever take initiative. He's making all these moves on his own trying to move up. So you got you to gotta watch out for Chris. I know you got to watch out for Chris. Prove by not paying the tributes the acting boss demands of you. Acting boss, my ass, Tom. Come on, everybody knows you really run things since Jackie became the chemo sob. Ooh. Talking out of line. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. That's your boy. Yeah. Right. One more thing. You leave Conley Trucking and every other fucking item on this planet that belongs to my Uncle Junior, including his hemorrhoid donut, the fuck alone. Got it? Period. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got a feeling like he gonna be... I don't know. He might be trouble. Ah. Ooh, shit, they going in hot. Uh, Mr. Arnez, what do you want? You see the school teacher satin around here? Ooh, yup, yeah. yup, yeah. you did that shit. Oh, man. Is that Mike Epps? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Yo. Yo! <laughs> oh shit! I was not expecting that. With the razor wire. Then one of you stays with us while the other goes out on the street and boosts another satin. Wow! So they about to steal a car to give to the science teacher. What the? F These motherfuckers. Drive those holster friends of hers around. Ones I can't drive anymore. I'm proud of her. Gives me hope. Yeah, whatever. Her ass should not be driving. Look how slow she's driving. She's going three miles an hour. Plenty of noise before you open the front door. You never know who's in there. There's my star ledger. Thanks. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, oh, shit. Damn. You talking about you proud of her? She just ran over her friend. Oh, shit. Oh, man. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> she broke her wrist on the steering column. Oh. Oh, man. What about the other yeah, what about the friend? She died. Hip. Broke her hip. Oh, shit. Hip, back, neck. Two in the morning. Talking to... Her doctor and the staff gerontologist. Oh man. They're saying that she shouldn't live. Duh. No shit, Sherlock. She can't manage. Well, she needs to be made to see the distinction. 
that in fact she's embarking on a rewarding chapter. I know secrets. It's how you sell it. It's how you how you tell it. Man, how she rolled on that hood, y'all. Back up, back up. It's Scorsese, good evening. Whoa. Hey, it's wow. Uh -huh. Hey! It's really Martin Scorsese. It's cool how they used a real celebrity. Just give me one good reason I should not jack this truck. Oh, it's your uncle's truck. It's Junior's own fault. He gives us no choice except to do it again. Bro! Oh, y'all. Like, like, the rules. Fuck Tony. The books what? are closed. Wow. They, they some dummies, for real. I knew you had to watch out for his dumb ass. This stuff before I die. Otherwise, there's going to be an awful lot of stuff here. The, the, the junk man's going to have to cart off to the top. Oh, man. Live long. And wear your sparklers to your grandchildren's graduations. I gave it all to your cousin Josephine. Ooh. What the fuck, the good jewelry? Ooh. She always admired it. Ooh. They don't have much money. You gave a fucking cousin Cartier dinner rings and you give me a vibrating chair? Your wife oh. never showed any interest in my jewels. She yep, and she just, and he just, any of it as I can remember. and he just she said she didn't want it. Before. Mrs. DiCaprio over there, and she says she's got a corner suite available with a woods view. It's available now, but it's gonna go fast. Of course, it's available. Somebody died. Oh, oh my you god, stop. you gotta stop with this, this black poison cloud all the time because I can't take it anymore. Oh, poor you. She's gonna die soon. Come on, go, go into the ham and take the carving knife and stab me here, here, now, please. She's so goddamn dramatic. <laughs> oh man. Eesh. Maybe one reason why things are so fucked up in the organization these days is guys running off, not listening to middle management. There we go. Why be a gangster? Hey coach. Ah oh, shit. He Tony told him. He's an idiot. Tony told him. And he's gonna get killed. Junior gonna kill it. Well, no, Tony gonna kill his ass. No props here. Increase the peace. That's our motto. I'm gonna take my lunch, okay? Yeah, whatever. Come on. Oh, shit. That's my man Bodie from The Wire. I gotta watch that again. It's been. 15 damn years since I've seen that shit. Come on, get down! You drive, I'll direct it. Oh! Oh! Oh, he got shot! Oh! Fuck! Fuck! Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, Ma, you gotta sign right here. She is not about to sign shit. They got to get the power of attorney, come back. I already know it. Yes. Change the mulberry leaf to silk. <laughs> oh, Uncle Junior, you know he is pissed. He is mad. Somebody got to die. T, don't get mad. It's been a little shit. Now, I had nothing to do with it, just so you spit it out. Brendan hit calmly again. Oh, shit. Cop. And, uh, uh, the driver, you know. No, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. He caught some friendly fire or something, and uh, he's gone. Oh, man. Fuck! Damn! Yup. And now Tony got one more thing he gotta fuck with. He gotta shovel this shit up. Mm -mm. Tony, I'm so sorry. Shut up. 
It's just so long as you realize I had nothing to do with this, Tom. You should have told him. What do we mean when we say leadership? Hmm? Tom, part of it's the crank. You know, but I'm going into the detox. Swam my... Brandon, shut the fuck up. You yep. Oh, shit. Brandon's dead. What are we gonna do? But I think you're fucked. Hmm. Tom. What if this didn't go back? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hey, this shit fits good. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back pull in. Me back. <laughs> it's probably too much to hope my papers are still inside the trunk here. It's a different color. Wow. Wow. These. Yo, red flags. He dealing with a lot of incompetence. His organization, his organization is. They on some silly shit. Oh shit! You ain't about to pass out right there, are you? Up, oh, up. Oh. Oh, I thought you about to pass out. Breathe, brother. Breathe. Kind of rage. I'm sad. It's hard to admit that you might have feelings of hatred towards your own mother, isn't it? Ooh. Ooh. Acknowledged. It's a good thing time is up. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Hate your mother. Yeah, she could have used a different word instead of hate. Here you go with the phone. Shit. Of what do you call it? Menu. First two if you know your party's extension. Is that an operator or an answer machine? Wow. My man's is incompetent. <laughs> Ooh, displaced anger. She tried telling you. Displaced anger right there. So that was not necessary. All right, and there we have it. Episode two of The Sopranos. Man, when I tell you when she ran her friend over, that shit was comical, man. Like how she flipped and rolled up on the hood. Um, and then to see Mike Epps, it's crazy because a lot of people say I look like Mike Epps or I remind them of Mike Epps. So I get that a lot. So, but um, anyway, um, I'm enjoying the movie. I'm enjoying the show. Uh, my man's Chris. He came to his senses, but Tony was like, look, man, you're supposed to be a leader. You're supposed to stop him from doing this goofy shit. They're going to have to kill Brandon. He got to go. He, he got a drug problem, apparently. No sense of following authority. My man, he's about to get whacked. And I think if I was to create the Sopranos, I would think they would probably make Chris do it. Like, that's your boy. You're responsible you got to kill him. So, he not getting the promotion that he want, but, yo, you you got to deal with the consequences on who you bring in, you know? So, I, I, I wonder if I'm right. You know, we'll see. But I know Uncle Junior is about to be pissed. He is living. Like, I just told, I just told these motherfuckers, like, okay, I guess 15000 wasn't enough. You know, that 15000 penalty was not enough. Okay, I got to do some more extremes. Because you don't respect me. Obviously, you don't. You know, so I know Uncle Junior is pissed. And the thing that's going on with his mama, that's... It's a sad situation, but I don't give a fuck. Like, she's ruthless. <laughs> I don't really care. Like, uh, I hope she uh, uh, enjoy her time in that nursing home. 
But yeah. But man, I'm really I'm really digging the show. The show is is nice. I'm 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 like I'm loving the story so far. Um, but with that being said, again, if you want to see these unedited, make sure that you uh, become a Patreon member. Uh, make sure you leave like, subscribe, comment. Um, and again, thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this. And I will make sure I will catch you guys on the next reaction. Until then, peace.